feel my blood flowing back to my head. It doesn't feel very good. And like I said, you can use Loctite for this purpose. Hello guys and welcome to the channel. And in this video, I'm gonna give you my feedback about this chair that I got about a year ago. And I made another video how I assembled it. And I'm gonna put it over in this corner right here. And today is the time where I wanna share my experience with this chair. This was a budget level gaming chair and I decided to go for it because it gives you a lot of comfort. And today we're gonna see how it actually works after a year of use. And I actually had it a little bit more than a year because I posted the video after I've been using the chair for a couple months. Months. Anyhow, it's been already over a year, so I decided to go ahead and give you my feedback and what I like, what I dislike about this chair. So stay tuned and before we start, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. Let's go! After more than a year of having this chair, I can give you my true honest feedback about how it works, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. Let's start with the overall durability. After having this chair for more than a year, I can tell that most of the components stay exactly intact, but it also depends how you use it. I've been using this chair almost every day because I use it for my video editing and it seems to be holding up really good because everything is intact. Like this label gets a little bit wore out, like you can see it get dirty, you probably have to clean it a little bit. But overall, it seems good, there's no wear and tear actually. And I find it really works great. I did have to do minor maintenance because sometimes you get these screws here on the bottom that hold your armrest. They can get loose and then you just, you know, the, the armrest starts to be shaky and loose. So all you gotta do is just tighten this screw. There is also a screw in the back here that holds your back. If you watch the video where we have assembled this chair, you know that there is screws over here that hold in the back to the bottom of the chair. And yeah, it can get loose as well. You gotta have to tighten them eventually. But overall, it's not bad. And like I said, you can use Loctite for this purpose and this will prevent it from getting loose. And these were the only thing that I have to do meanwhile having this chair. I didn't have to do any other repair or any other fixing on it. Let's talk about comfort. What do you think about is it comfortable or not after having used it for a while? I find it really comfortable and I do like it the way it's built up. It's pretty wide. I can actually sit like this on the chair and you know, I get enough room to sit like this and it's pretty comfortable. Then another thing I like about this one is when I want to sit straight, I can just adjust it straight forward and it supports my back really good. When I'm working on the computer, I can just sit straight forward like this. When I want to get relaxed and lean back, I just probably tilt it back like this or maybe a little bit further. And this works really great if you want to watch a movie or if you just want to sit back and relax. It works really great. So I do find this really comfortable. The armrest feels really nice and the back support is great. I find this pillow works really great as your lumbar support. Now let's talk about things that are available on this chair but I have never actually used them that often. One of these things is your foot support and you can tell it looks brand new because I have probably used it like five times out of the whole year. It is very comfortable, like it it's, works great, like you can sit like this, you can even lean back more and then it gives you a lot of room to sit like this and it does feel good but for some reason I just never had a need for it and maybe I don't watch as many movies on the computer. Another thing that I have never actually used and this one I have never used, absolutely. This was like probably used it once when I actually showed you when, how I assembled it and probably actually only use it once during the whole year. This is a massage pillow. You can connect your cable here and plug it into your computer for massage function. And honestly, this massage function is sheer vibration. I actually think this is not a game changer. If you're looking for a chair that has a massage, probably not gonna be worth buying it. Another cool feature that this chair has, it actually has a 180 degree incline on the back. And I'm gonna show it to you right now. And it actually goes more than 180 degrees. I don't know why this is needed because I can feel my blood flowing back to my head and it doesn't feel very good. If you use this footrest support, then you can lay on this chair like on a, almost like I use it as a bed if you want to go to sleep. 
But honestly, I have never ever used this one. And I think this is probably a really cool feature. For some people, they might use it more than me. I do think it's a really great option, but I just never had use for it. Now let's talk about a few things that I find that I don't like about it or some things that I would like to improve in this chair. Of course, keep in mind, this is a budget level chair. It's not a high-end chair. And I only paid like $200 for this chair instead of like $500 for more expensive ones. One of the things that I noticed is you do get a squeak and I'm sure you can fix this. I just haven't had a chance to look at it yet. But as you can see, when I'm when I'm moving and actually when I'm recording video, this could get really annoying because I get that squeak in my video. And sometimes it's really hard to get rid of it in post. So I find that this squeak is something that I need to work on to get it fixed. This is the main thing I don't like about this chair because it gets that squeak, but I'm pretty sure it's possible to fix it. The second thing I don't like about this chair, it gets warm after sitting in it for a while. Like almost any chair, if you don't have ventilation on it, you're probably gonna get warm after sitting on it for a few hours. And it also depends on the indoor temperature that you have. It's not too bad, but it's not the greatest. If you can get one with the more ventilation, it probably feels more comfortable. This is probably one of the disadvantages of this chair, but I can understand it because it's a budget level chair and for this price, it's really built high quality. So as a conclusion, I would say if I have a chance to buy another chair today, I would probably go with this chair and I wouldn't even look for another chair because it really works great. It's good for my budget and it works, it serves me pretty good. So I do recommend this chair. It actually works pretty good as an office chair or a gaming chair, like it works for both purposes. And you can get one real cheap, like it's only $200 versus like high-end chairs, it could be like five, $600. So this is a really good thing. So let me know in the comment section below what you think about this chair or if you have one and let me know if I missed anything. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button, smash the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. And if you find this video helpful, give it a like. And if you want to support my YouTube channel, go ahead and watch more videos. I appreciate you guys very much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.